you fucking pig. You're disgusting. You're absolutely disgusting. And your mother should be ashamed of herself for even giving birth to you. So wow, oh, Molly, you are a oh, low oh. down dirty bitch. <laughs> Woo, we can say that about your mama. How about that? See, everything you say, we can say about you because you are a disgusting pig yourself. You are, Molly. You're disgusting. What you do to these children in these cases, you are. Look at that face. Yeah, I'm tired. Look at you. Just look at you. <laughs> you probably ain't even washed your ass today. She's another one. Better get up here, hair not calm, greasy, looking like, ugh, God. Say what? Mm-hmm. Mm. you fucking uh Katie? Who marries this fucking guy? Oh yeah, this sounds like a great fucking idea. I'm just gonna marry a guy that's been married four times. Oh, that's not fucking a little bit of baggage. How, what's your fucking level of self-esteem at? Molly, where's yours at? You married Walter and went and went and spread your legs as an escort. <laughs> Good God. Do you hear yourself? You moron. You cannot talk about other people's marriages, mothering skills, wifely duties, uh, anything. When you've done the worst, okay? You are the worst. You're the worst. Just saying. Good morning, Uber. Good morning, twin. Does he have anything to fucking offer? I don't think so. Maybe I just have higher standards than men. I don't know. Hmm. No, it didn't take five minutes to get the number. How'd you get my number? I'm only delivered. You don't want to get into it with me, motherfucker. You would never be able to handle it. And I personally don't like doing things over the phone. I like doing it face to face. Oh, here we go. So let me ask you. Here we go. There's her little her little uh, threat right there. I do it face to face. When are you going to Tennessee, Molly? Let me know. I need to write it down. Everybody, we're going to have to write this down. Anybody find out when this, if this hoe's going? We need to know. We need to know, Val. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Why don't you just go on down there to the court proceedings Monday morning? Everybody else is going. Go ahead. Go on in there and see Betty. See how that works out for you. With Bella and Betty out of the what? Out of so you were listening. I'm sure. So she, with Bella and Betty out of the picture. Oh crap! She may show up down there. Oh, I oh, think crap. so. 100. percent 100. percent See, they won't say it because they know everybody's on it. You know what I'm saying? But I have a feeling she'll she'll go. She'll go. Mm mm mm. Are you ever going to show no, up to any of the Mitchells? Out. I don't know when, but you, know you don't want to talk to the press? I think you're happy Sebastian's gone. Oh, Molly, Jesus, here we go again. Live with you. Your husband don't even live in the same house with you, Molly. I'm glad he's gone. He's in a safe haven. <laughs> How about that? How about that? Miss Chintastic, look at you. God, no. They were all a bunch of shady pieces of shit. I, don't oh, I, wonder my God. Somebody, I wonder if somebody popped her in the mouth with it busting lips. Girl. Mm, I bet they'd be fillers everywhere. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just sitting here thinking that. If somebody busted her right in her damn mouth with them lips explode. You might one day find out, Molly, the way y'all act. Just saying. I told y'all this a couple years ago. Keep it up. Keep it up. I feel fucking terrible I'm get hurt. for all the innocent people that have to live amongst them. Let me tell you something. All those people that live on the block with these fucking private feet motherfuckers, knowing that that fucking lunatic is living in that fucking house, they should all fucking know what a goddamn lunatic is living in that house. Look here, Molly. I'm going to need you to control your filthy mouth because I'm trying to have a morning show over here. <laughs> you just got one of the foulest. And they usually, I got a foul mouth. At least I've tried to clean it up a little bit, but good lord, you're ruining my monetization over here. Something you don't have, Molly. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to clean it up a little bit, uh, trash. Okay. Even our even us southerners know when to when to speak like that. Like that. <laughs> D A T that. She's my wife. Yeah, she's fucked up too. She's foul. She's fucked up too. Or alert this lady. Yeah, fuck you. You don't have to do apologize, y'all morning people, for this nasty talking. I'm not over Betty. I won't sit in a fucking car or hide behind the police. Yeah, we know. <laughs> yeah, we know for sure, uh, Molly the Moose. We know what you're all about. You go to job site, you uh, trespass, 
You even knock on people's windows. You crawl up the hills of their property. Yeah, you already been trespassed. You oh, barge, barge, barge in. <laughs> you barge in and the, into the house of the Lord wearing uh, recording devices and put people's children on video like a weirdo. Yeah, we know. We know all about you. I was practically pushing the fucking police out of the way to get to John Wells. They had to make me fucking step back. Oh, you are disgusting. Up. You are lying from the pits of hell, Molly. Shut up. You did not push the police out of the way. Well, I know the police thing. backed your ass off that daggone I, property. I know what happened. they heard, Betty, after they got busted for uh, recording that little girl in church. <laughs> they all went and ran to the grocery store and bought a bunch of food. Don't they? Remember that? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. She sure did, Queenie J. She banged on that window where they were working at and looks in like a freaking creeper. Come on outside. Come on outside. I wish Candace would have went outside and whooped your ass. <laughs> I'm serious. Damn it. <laughs> Candace, you could have took that charge, girl. Ooh, it would have been a good one. That would have been something well for, for live streaming. There you go. God, I wish she would have come out there and whipped your ass, especially when you were tapping on her car and shit. Uh-uh. Oh, girl, no. Mm -mm. Whew, but that's what they do. They try to push the parents, push, 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 because that's what they wanted. They wanted somebody to, to whip that ass, you know, so then they could be the victim. They always cause problems and then want to be the victim. Poor me, poor me. Look, look, look. Shut up. Hitting a 15 year old boy with autism with a fucking belt. Oh, well, you're definitely going home. You are a fucking piece of shit. You really are. None of the neighbors are like them. He cussed the neighbors out too. He's a fucking low life. You want to know something? Maybe you should be living in Nina's parents' fucking trailer. That's where you belong. Actually, I'm going to take that back. The trailer is way too good for you. You belong in fucking prison. You know what, what I want you to go get in? <laughs> Bitch, go get in a trash bag and put yourself in the dumpster because that's what you are. Mm -hmm. You remember that time she got all excited because was it Don Wells that was in jail? And he said, uh -huh. I could sell that picture for what was it? Three honey buns or three. Did it three packs of ramen, something like that. <laughs> oh yeah, girl. They probably had that picture of you passing around with. You probably had horns <laughs> thrown on it. You probably had a mustache. They know they probably put a big old thing in your mouth. Look, and face. she was so <laughs> tickled, and she didn't even realize it was an insult. She's an idiot. <laughs> She's an idiot. This broad is an idiot. She's a clown. <laughs> Call her hefty from now on, trash bag. Hefty, 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 hefty. <laughs> and that ain't about her big ass weight. It's about her being trash. Call her hefty bag from now on, hefty bag. Taking it in the fucking ass <clears throat> with a fucking broomstick. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait a minute. With a fucking broomstick. What? Taking it in the fucking ass with a fucking broomstick. Ew. Molly. He didn't want that fucking kid around. He never liked him. You want to know something? Not? The mother. Has no fucking self-esteem. You don't. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Don't have no self-esteem. This mother realized we're way past this stage. I, I guess. Like, uh, she's lost. All in the sauce. That was the first stage. She's lost. When they were going after her really hard. Yeah. yeah, you're still late to the game, dum dum. <laughs> All in trying to be in the Kool-Aid and ain't got a no, one ounce knowing the flavor of it. You idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Team Pack Princess, and you were playing with the broom again. Oh, God. No self worth. That she would choose a man. I know, right? Not and much of a fucking man. To me, I think he's a fucking disgusting piece of shit. Okay? Over her own kid. A baby. An innocent little baby. Shut up. He's gone. Hey, shut up. Well, Chris Proudfoot, you better pray you never meet me in fucking person. Says I the woman who always had somebody else raising hers. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just... She's a size five. The hey, devil baby. is a lie twin. <laughs> she lying. <laughs> you better put up one in front of that five, maybe. Maybe. She over here saying, you better hope you never meet me in person. Molly, I want to meet you in person. You, you're supposed to be in here. Where are you at, girl? I want to meet you in person. Mm, proof is in the pudding. Shit, they are all trash. Mm -hmm. are. Don't say pudding. I shit in your fucking mouth. Did she just? Put, what did you just? What did you? Just, I will fucking. I will shit in your fucking mouth. Ew, <laughs> Molly. Why is this happening? 
<laughs> wait a minute. Oh wait, wait a minute. My God. I don't think I've ever, ever said that. Jonesy, where have you been? <laughs> oh, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I don't talk to people that sneak off to a beach or group a vacation. <laughs> Leave me here. <laughs> 